Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this tutorial, we're gonna create sort of a flip text animation, kind of like this. And I think it's really cool because you can use it for say like a clock or if you wanna kind of replicate the sort of the board that you would see like at an airport, the kind of that little flip chart thingy. Uh, this is a great tutorial for that. So I will show you guys how you can do this animation right here in After Effects. So I already have a uh, composition called Tut with a background in here. I kind of have like sort of a gradient ramp on this background, but you can do whatever you want. So first thing we're gonna start off with is we're, we're gonna start with the rectangle tool and make sure the fill, you know, I'm gonna set the fill to sort of a, a darker gray color and I'm gonna have no stroke on this uh, background. So let's come here and let's draw out like a rectangle, maybe, maybe like that. And that should be fine. And maybe I'll bring up my title saves. And I can go here and bring up title saves. And I'll be using this a lot just to kind of measure where everything's going to be at. But here we go. And let's go and start off with our first letters. Go to the text title tool. And I'm going to type F for flip. And we can maybe select both of our shapes or both of our layers here. Go to the line tab and we can center these up. And then I kind of reposition these a little bit. But there, that's where we're at. And maybe what we'll do is go back to the shape layer here. And maybe I'll just bring this down a little bit. So I'm happy with this sort of layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to name the shape layer to uh, plate. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this plate and we're going to pre-compose the uh, letter here and also one of these plates. And to pre-compose, you can go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call this one, uh, we'll call this one top. And we'll call it top one to be exact. And that should, fi should be fine. And we'll go into this composition and we'll go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And what we'll do is go to effect color correction and we'll add like say a curves effect and we'll kind of bring this up a little bit. So this will be a little bit brighter than what it is now. So we'll go back to our main tut here and let's go to our project window here and let's duplicate our top one composition by hitting command D on a Mac or control D on a PC. And we'll call this one bottom one. And let's go ahead and open up this layer and let's go to the F here and let's go up to layer transform flip vertical and let's go and reposition this in a place that we will like kind of like that maybe and then let's go back to our tut here and what we'll do is we'll go to the rectangle tool and let's kind of create like a mask halfway through here kind of like this and that should be fine and what we'll do is we will duplicate this layer and we will hold down alt on our keyboard and bring the bottom one comp into here to replace the top here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to animate this bottom one here. So let's say, let's go to like, I don't know, um, let's go to like 15 seconds or something. Let's hit R on our keyboard. And of course, let's make this in a 3D layer. So we bring up rotation by hitting R on our keyboard. And let's go ahead and click the X rotation uh, parameter to add a keyframe. Let's move forward to say like one, one second or something. And let's start to animate this down kind of like this you know, maybe like 180 degrees. So now we take a look at this. This kind of just flips down just like that. And, you know, so far so good. Let's go to the bottom one here and let's delete this adjustment layer. So we go back to our touch. As you can see, we kind of have like a nice little contrast there and it looks pretty cool. So what we need to do is we need to go to like find a point on here where, because uh, at the start here, we don't want to see our letter peeking through here. So what we need to do is go to our animation here and kind of find a spot where we first see underneath our um, sort of animation here. And we'll go to the halfway point here. Let's go ahead and click on bottom one and let's just move the layer here, the F layer to, uh, or our uh, letter layer to, you know, start here at our endpoint. So now we take a look here, we see nothing and then boom, our entire uh, letter reveals on and it's all pretty cool. So what we can do is make maybe these X rotation keyframes easy as keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And for the most part, this looks really good. What we can do now is start to add more letters into here and make this thing completely awesome. So what I suggest doing is taking both of our tuck comps here, just make this really quick, duplicate these. So the bottom one and bottom and the top one, duplicate those comps. And what we can do is say select our three comps in here, duplicate those and move them up and let's go ahead and pee on our keyboard for position and let's just drag these over kind of like this and let's hold down let's go to the top one here make sure that's selected and grab your duplicated top which mine's top five it should be top two but this is because i'm using the same comp here but i'll click it 
and drop it in there. And same thing with bottom one, grab like your bottom two and alt, hold down alt and just drag and drop it in there. And you see these will automatically be replaced and the keyframes will be exactly the same. So all we have to do is go into these comps individually and we need to type in our text. So I'll type in L and we'll go back to our tut here, go to bottom five and or bottom two in your case probably. And we'll type our L in there again. And we go back to our tut. As you can see, we have our uh, text exact animating exactly how it should and looks beautiful. So we need to repeat this process for the, for the rest of the letters. So I will jump through here and I'll be back when it's done. So I'm back here and sometimes the letters will kind of be off centered because I didn't center this up in the paragraph. So all you have to do is just move it over and go ahead and just copy your text and we can go back to our uh, next version here and we can just paste it in here and we can delete our last letter. And what I suggest doing uh, for, if you go ahead and paste in like a bottom one, make sure you go back up to layer, transform, and you flip that vertically, just so everything will be exactly how it should. So that's, just keep that in mind when you're going through this. So I've created all the letters that I wanted to create and uh, I've color coded everything so we can separate things easily here in the timeline. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go up to a layer, new, null object, and let's parent every layer to the null object, except for the background, of course. And let's just do that. And let's hit P on our keyboard for position. And let's just kind of uh, move this right in the center, kind of maybe like this. And we'll just use the null to center things up. And let's go ahead and start, you know, offsetting this a little bit and creating some randomness. So let's go to like 15 frames or something. And let's select every layer except for our first uh, sort of block here. And let's just bring those back a little bit. And in fact, let's actually, uh, well, let's go to one second now and bring the second, the, the remaining two letters back, and let's go to one minute and 15 seconds, and let's bring the last set back. So if you want them to pop on individually kind of like that, that's fine, but if you don't want to do that, so you can select all the plates here, and you can hit like the bracket button to bring all those um, layers to the beginning, so those, you know, animate on individually, and they'll automatically be here. So that's how you can do that. And of course, make sure to enable motion blur. And let's go ahead and render a preview and see what we have. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And I think it came out pretty good. You guys might want to speed it up or add some more letters. But for the most part, I think this tutorial is kind of easy to follow along with. But if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please be sure to check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.